Hello everyone, I'm Tim from Tim's PC and I build custom PCs to suit anyone's needs or budget. Also live stream my builds and repairs, builds and repairs for transparency and educational purposes. So if you'd like to get an awesome new PC and you'd like to see it get put together live, send me a message today. Alrighty, so we're back here tonight and we've got a couple more PCs to get built. Oh man, they're starting to pile up. So if you if you want me to build you one before Christmas, Got to get that order in. You got to place that order. Your mm. your position in the queue is not assured until you your PC is paid for. So definitely get those orders in as quick as possible, because what will happen is I'll end up with too many orders, more than what I can physically get done in the amount of time, and and that'll be it until after Christmas. All good if if you're if you're waiting till after Christmas. I know that um, for a lot of people it's kind of like you know once. Once like Christmas is sort of done, then you sort of have a good idea of how much money you got in your pocket to spend on a PC. And that makes sense. I mean, the last couple of Christmas Eves, I've sold multiple computers like on Christmas Eve. So just to give you a bit of an idea. But if you're after something before Christmas, yeah, you've got to get those Mine's orders in. It's ticking away. It is ticking away. And availability of RTX 3080, they're, they're running out. And once they're gone, they're gone and your, your only option will be the newer graphics cards. Alrighty, so the first build we got tonight, we got this sexy new Thermaltake S200 case. So it comes with three pre-installed white ARGB fans in the front there. Um, it's a, it's a um, full ATX case. Um, what else can I say about it? You can fit a 360 on the front, but you can't fit a 360 up top. In fact, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even mount a radiator up top. It doesn't have much room there at all. You probably end up um, in the way of the of the RAM or something like that. So that would be the only downside with it. But it's a very very nice looking case. This will really look the part when it's all lit up. Alrighty, so for this build here, we've got a Ryzen 5600, we've got an MSI B550M Pro VDH Wi-Fi, we've got a little Asus uh, RTX 3060 Ti, we've got a 32GB kit of white Thermaltake Tough RAM, we've got a 1TB NVMe SSD, we've got a big 850W power supply here, so we're going to be completely fine to upgrade our 3060 Ti when the time's right and the aforementioned S200 in white. So, a very, very nice looking little case. Okay, so let's get started. Time is of the essence. Got to get this stuff done. So, yeah. You must do stuff before build today. Yeah, well that's, so that's, like that. that's, that's what it's sort of looking like, but yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta get your orders in. Encouraging everyone to do so, just so I can get them all done. Because I like to try to work with a 96-hour turnaround on new PCs from payment to shipping, but that's dependent on my workload. All right, it gets to a point where I just can't keep up with that. So. I can only promise what I can promise. I'm only one man. There's no, there's not another Tim here behind the scenes assembling computers. It wouldn't even make sense. Alrighty. So, with our Ryzen 5600, we're just going to be installing the stock cooler here on it, which is completely fine. Um, 5600 isn't really a very hot running CPU. None of the Ryzen 5000s are, except for the 5800. That's the only one that sort of runs hot. 5950X can run hot, like when you're multi-coring on it, but yeah, you know, you get that. But it doesn't go to 95 degrees, so. Alrighty, 
So once you get opposite corners in place, it's very easy to screw in the other two corners. And your Wraith Prism stock cooler from AMD here. The bolts will only turn in so far, so you can't really over tighten this one. It's designed, it's designed as such that that will be essentially impossible. Yeah, no, it's never enough, it's not enough room around the other side. Okay, so there's our CPU in place. Now for some nice white RAM. It's very fancy in white, look at this. It's a very fancy dim right there. And if you look, if you like, listen to this like, what the hell's a dim? Well, that's what these things are called. They're not technically called RAM sticks. That's the, that's the kind of like consumer slang for it. What this is, is a dual inline memory module or a DIMM. AKA a DIM. Alrighty. So I got a one terabyte NVMe SSD here, and it's going to go in the bottom slot. So, one of the good things is pretty much all of our newer NVMe SSDs will be coming with a five-year warranty. Now they, they they sort of originally only came with a um, with a one-year warranty on, the, on some of the cheaper ones. Then some, some brands started offering three, but I believe that the new standard's going to be five, so that's, that's pretty good. Okay, so that board's all prepped and ready to go. So let's get this case sorted. Okay, Ooh, that just that just falls off there. quite hard to unscrew, even though it's a thumb screw. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Darren. Yeah, good morning to you. I mean, unfortunately for, um, unfortunately for, for Darren, he'll be, he'll be coming into winter in the UK. And now, while I haven't been to the UK at all, I have heard that Winter's not necessarily the nicest time of year in that part of the world. Mm, mm. Like we all love winter. We love winter in this part of the world. See, in in my in my part of the world, we don't really get a proper winter. We just get three different summers. It's like a dry Mediterranean summer. Yeah, well, that that's that's more like that's like late winter, spring. So basically, we get the three summers of Southeast Queensland. We get a temperate summer which is like our winter. And then we get a Mediterranean summer, which is like our spring. And then we get a tropical summer, and that's the shit part for like six months of the year, where it's <laughs> like hot and rainy and humid and insufferable, and the air conditioners run nonstop, and that's where we're, that's where we're at now. So we're in the worst of the three summers right now. And that's actual legitimate calendar summer, if that makes sense.
Yeah, you compare our winter temperatures in, in, in Brisbane, go look it up, winter average temperatures and stuff, you'll, you'll look at it and be like, ha, huh, that's like a summer's day. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm I'm doing I'm doing what I can at the moment. I'm trying to keep up with quotes and consultations for customers. He says yes we got snow now. Oh you got snow, oh like I mean I don't mind see we go away, we go on holidays to get to the snow. Because <laughs> the snow never gets to us, so yeah, that'd be fun, but I, I can I can see that yeah, that would definitely you'd definitely get over that after a few years. <laughs> Who was that? Mitchell. Mitchell says hello. Metro. Who? YouTube name. Metro. Metro. Yes. Hey Metro, how you going? <laughs> Sorry, I can't even understand my own wife, apparently. Okay. I sort of wish it was snowing here. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'd be actually I'd be a little bit worried about the snowing here. <laughs> It's 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 no better than what you guys are, are facing because you got to have your heaters on and stuff right now. We've got to have air conditioning rain. If not, you sweat your. He says it's cold here. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. My second cousin's up in Glasgow, so she's she she knows what cold cold is now. <laughs> she hates it too. Oh, does she? Yeah. Well, she hates the snow. She can't do anything. Yeah. And the kids are stuck inside. Inside, yeah. She's stuck inside with the kids and she just like, loses her mind. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. They're both under the age of 10, so. Mm hmm. I think that would do my head in too, having two kids under the age of 10. Inside, and I can't tell you go outside and play on the road. Oh, well. <laughs> I was told to when I was a kid. Yep. I'm bored. Go outside and play on the road. <laughs> I can't believe no, she wanted you to die. <laughs> That's fucked. Anyway. Anyway, my dog. Nice dog. It's nearly 70%. 70% humidity at night. Uh, yeah, I've seen worse. Yeah, it's like 25 degrees. That's okay. See, it's okay. It's night time now. There's no, there's no big ball of hydrogen burning in the sky. <laughs> Darren says, yes, you did bloody my name last night. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But Darren, up. but Darren would know me well enough now to know that I'm pretty hopeless at names. Um, he, he'd see all the episodes where I'm struggling to remember everyone's name and stuff like that. So I'm sure he, I'm sure he understands. It's not, it's not, um, it's not like a personal thing. Yeah. Hey Kyle, how you going? Good to have you with us. So if you wanted to spend a little bit of extra money on this build, what would probably look really nice is some white cable extenders. That would look pretty sweet. I can't wait till we get those cable extenders in that Oh, yes, yes, yes. Asia Horse? Asia Horse, a company in China, has reached out to me, and they have some pretty sexy like basically knockoffs of the Leon Lee streamers. They but they're really like cool. they're way cheaper. Just imagine, you know, RGB streamers but like half the price of the Leon Lee ones. That sounds pretty good to me. That sounds good, eh? And they and also they've... come in white too. Yeah you can get you can get white ones so the connector's white as well. Mm. And you can get the weaved pattern that yes. instead of just straight lines so that's really cool they look I'll awesome the weird ones. yeah I them for my case. yeah they look just as good as i think they do i think i might have to upgrade mine <laughs> 
Well, I think we got, I think we got, I think we got a wipe. So I think the plan was I was gonna, I was gonna give it to you, and we we're gonna upgrade your PC and install them in your PC. Because we'll I told, I told, yeah. Because I've been, yeah. Because I've been chatting to, I've been chatting to a rep from the company, and, and I've sent through, I've sent through a, um, a little trial order, and I've, I've said to them, hey, I'd be really keen to. You know, do some do some YouTube stuff on um, on your on your products. You know, when you've got a new one that's coming out, um, etc. Send me send me some samples, and, and I'll do a I'll do a video on them for you. And um, yeah, it all sounds pretty positive. Yeah, yeah, that, they they they're keen. I mean, they want to grow their business. They want they want you know people in Western markets like me to talk about their products and and you know like their products and promote them and stuff like that because i mean as you know if you're an average australian englishman scotsman welshman <laughs> yeah you gotta chuck the welsh in there um don't forget about us don't forget the welsh <laughs> americans any anyone in anyone in the west basically bit skeptical on products from china right that's just that's just the nature of the beast people here are a little bit more skeptical on products from china not everyone but there is there is sort of a um a class of people there that are a little bit skeptical on that and yet yeah, seeing videos like mine saying hey these are really good i like them and and you know unboxing them hooking them up testing them and stuff like that that goes a long way to helping a company like that um, grow their business in Western markets. So if they want to achieve that, I'm always keen for some good value stuff for my customers. No, no. It's just me. So we got a new RTX uh, 40, 4090? No, 4080. I think it's the best value one on the market. Another Chinese manufacturer, PNY. We use a, uh, we use a bit of their products. So PNY's sort of big distributor around here is actually based in Brisbane leader wholesale so we've always got a lot of um a lot of pny stuff around and their brand's getting bigger getting more stuff and it's all really really good value and it's not it's 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 a it's a brand that i'll i'll probably end up using more of in the future and it's not just a random thing that I've, I've switched to. I've, I've seen, I've seen um, my colleagues in the industry using it for over over twelve months, and they all rave about it in terms of quality, value, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's the kind of thing that I'm always looking for. I'm always looking for the latest. What's the best value? What's good quality? What's a good deal, etc., for my customers. Okay. All right, so we got our power supply installed there. What have we got to do to the inside of the case? What are some offsets to adjust? So we've got a micro ATX board going in this full-size ATX case. So we're going to have to run those cables behind the motherboard so it all looks nice and neat and tidy. Port Macquarie's Christmas tree. Very terrible looking Christmas Jesus. tree. Jesus, couldn't you, couldn't you do better than that, guys? Is that all you got? <laughs> Is truly worth the wait. What? Uh, you get it. They're just. That was a tongue in cheek. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought they were being serious no, there, and I was no. like, "Are you serious?" No. 
Looks like how I feel. Yeah, that's about right. Hey, I've been up since 3.30 this morning. So, yeah. So, Max says, half the name brands manufacture in China. Nothing wrong with Chinese manufacturing in principle. We just need to be careful of the knockoffs, I think. Yep, 100%, man. 100%. Yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff's actually made in China, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's better value for the customer. Why spend an extra $50 on a motherboard just so you get like an extra <laughs> inch and a half of PCB at the bottom? I don't need, I don't need to do that to make it look nice. And if you think, oh, that's bullshit, he'll never make it look nice, I challenge you to stick around and have a look. <laughs> Max, is this a guy who's emailed me about a build? I think, I think it is. I've got a few people who are waiting for replies by email. I'm just too busy. If you've emailed me and you're waiting for a reply and you really want to reply sooner, just send me a message on Facebook through the um, instant messenger because that's the best way to like talk to me. Yeah, that, that, that's because I'm I'm basically dealing with you know about forty people or so a day via Facebook. It's the same person. Yeah, it is the same person. Yeah, send me send me a message. I, I've I've got your email. I read your I read your latest email that you sent through like today or yesterday. But yeah, send me a message on Facebook Instant Messenger. That will be the best way. That will be the best way to ensure you have a conversation with me tomorrow. So, yeah. Max says, okay, so my micro ATX is cheaper. Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah. With when it comes to when it comes to motherboards. You'll generally pay more for a full-size ATX board, which is about, you know, like, it, like I said, about an inch and a half longer. Some people really, really hate this, and the reason why is when we put it in the, in the PC, there'll be all these cables sticking up from down here, okay? But what I do, when, I'm, when I mount a micro in a full-size ATX case, is I'll run, the, I'll run the cables behind the motherboard and just hook them in along the bottom so then it's all nice and clean at the bottom it's just like a nice clean bit of white there so that actually looks quite smart and that's the that's the secret to doing this like some people some people get their nose bent out of shape at me they they come on here and they they come to this channel and they're like they expect me to be building like you know like some perfect pc for for someone and it's like no 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 my PCs that I build uh, for real people who come to me with real budgets and stuff like that, like inflexible amounts of money, and we come and we we design a PC that is based on their needs and their budget. So it's what I say in my intro, right? So that's what you see here. It's not it's not like every single build is going to be perfect. Sometimes they're going to be kind of crap, um, but it's not because. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I I know I know I know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to building PCs. I could make every PC absolutely perfect. And yeah, that would be great. But the person who's like, yeah man, I've got like an unlimited budget, but let's just do this, let's do this, and it's all beautiful and you know we've got the Leon Lee case and we've got four hundred and fifty dollars worth of Corsair fans in there and you know everything just got everything absolutely maxed um that person only comes along a few times a year okay My, everyone else has like got a real budget they, they don't have more than a certain amount to spend and we're just trying to get them exactly what they want if they want to prioritize more storage we get them more storage if, uh, if they want to prioritize you know um, a better cpu we get them a better cpu if it's all about gaming and graphics card we get them the best graphics card and the, the cheapest motherboard that's going to be appropriate for that graphics card. Um, yeah. So that's that's kind of how things go go here. What's up?
terabits a second. 319 terabits a second. Oh, I'll go some terabit internet, thanks. That sounds that sounds nice. really nice. Just a terabit, mate. That's all. You know, a lazy terabit. <laughs> About a terabyte of RAM should do it. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I love about your builds. They're Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's plenty of channels out there on YouTube that buy all the best stuff and they're like, check out this mad PC. And that's cool. That's cool as well. But what we do here is a bit different because I'm dealing with real people, like I said, real budgets, and we've got to make it work one way or another. And if, if it's, you know, if it's the difference between getting a 3060 Ti and a 3060, and it means a micro ATX board and an ATX case, and we get them the case that they really want. That's a win for the customer. They don't they don't care about these little you know. You can't put a micro ATX board in an ATX case. It's an unwritten rule. <laughs> like it's not. Yeah, it doesn't really work out. What's up? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay, so like I said, there's plenty of room because of the offsets that you that you put down first. There's plenty of room to actually route these cables behind the board. And so by doing that, you just put just put that center bolt in and that top uh, top left hand corner one, and you'll be pretty much right. And you'll be able to fit all of those cables safely behind the motherboard because of those offsets. And once you, once you have them routed like that, there'll be nothing in the way at the bottom. It'll be all nice and clean. Because that's what makes it look ugly. Having all these cables sticking up from there, going across to that white bit there. Um, what else have we got? We got four fans plus the plus the CPU fan there. Issued a statement or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we got we got our front panel audio, we got that back fan that I've installed, we got our front panel connectors there, and we've got one, two, three fan headers left. We're gonna plug these three fans there into it. We don't even need it. We've got we've got a um we've got a triple <laughs> splitter here. Michael wants to know why do people like white cases? Because it's makes the RGB stand out. I don't know. People people love it. I mean They look nice. I like this like is this 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 quote this quote for this PC, right? To give you an example how I work, the first quote, the first option I showed him was a black case. You know, probably a probably a Silverstone Farrah five hundred. For eighty nine dollars on special, that's a good deal, right? And that would have been the first thing that I'd I'd show this customer, because I'm just because the first thing that I prioritise without really knowing what the person's agenda is is price to performance. 
So I go, oh sweet, we got this. We got this case here with three pre-installed RGB fans in the front and a fourth one in the back, and it's and it's only eighty nine bucks. So it's like, yeah, that's that's a really really good option for a young fella because this is a this is a young fella's PC for Christmas, right? But yeah, he really wanted the white case. And so his mum was just like, oh, he wants he wants to get it in white. Like she wouldn't she wouldn't know. But yes, people are obsessed with it. I guess it's like like I said, PC, I always say PCs and cars are very, very similar, right? Oh, oh, oh. Poor little thing. Somebody's driving along the highway and it's like Green tree snake started climbing out of the bonnet. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the good thing about There's five volt actually. understand that the snake was hiding when he came up through the water. Oh. It's, it's coming out of the grill or something out of the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, kid, we hit the snake. That's why it's still snaking. <laughs> Yes. Mm hmm Yeah, well, it's parents just, you know, oh, they're never going to hear the end of it. They all want to play Call of Duty and Fortnite with their friends. It's a big social it's thing. Ones, it's Roblox. Yeah, Roblox and Minecraft, but, you know, they're always getting older. <laughs> <laughs> If that makes sense. Okay, so around the back here, I've plugged in that one RGB header in up there, and we can just daisy chain the rest of these. So what the hell's daisy chaining? Daisy chaining is where we've got a male and a female header on each cable, and when we plug the female header into a male header, we can then plug another female header into the next male header to make a chain. So in this case, we've got our three fans at the at the front. One, two, three, daisy chained into the white fan, and the white cable is plugged into the motherboard there, so you won't, so you'll see a little bit less black. Okay, and then we've got USB three. So unlike the other one the other night where I bent it and completely stuffed it up, I've got plenty of room to put this in nice and neatly here. Just like that. So there's 19 little tiny pins in that socket. And if you don't push it in right, you'll bend the pins. And while that's, I don't really, that's not really a big deal for me. <laughs> if you've never gone and straightened them out before, yeah. <laughs> Have fun with that. that that'll, be, that'll be like 10 minutes of your life that you'll never get back. <laughs> Oh, abso absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's a different, it's a different world. I mean, I don't even know how to, I don't even know what sort of equation we'd use to compare um, the first PC that I was ever bought. And you know, I'm one of these, you know, I'm one of these spoiled millennials. All right. Yeah, your parents actually bought me a PC. My brother built me a PC with stuff down on the side of the, the road. road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but my my parents had a motivation to buy me a PC because because it was me, and I'm like I like PCs, so I kept just like stuffing around with my my mum's PC, and so they they got the shits with 
me changing things and not knowing how to fix it. So they're like, fuck it, let's buy him his own and then he can be responsible for it. He fucks it up, he can fix it himself. And, and that's what I did. I, I had no problem with that. Sweet. Let me add it. It's going to be a bit of a warm one tomorrow. 45 degrees Celsius yeah. tomorrow. Not in Brisbane, but a lot of places in Queensland. Oh, I was going to say 45 degrees in Brisbane. No, no. We are a coastal city. Coastal. 45 in Ipswich, Gatton, places like that, that's, that's okay, that's inland, they're separated by a, a slight ridge from the ocean, <laughs> yep, that's all it takes, a slight ridge. <laughs> Thirty-three, yeah, and that'll be with high humidity, no doubt. Oh yeah, don't forget the humidity. Yeah, really, really high humidity. That's what it's all about. That's what everyone wants. Oh well, you can get up with me tomorrow morning, and we'll put the air conditioner back on. For another day of hard work. <laughs> uh. Now, if you live in this part of the world, you basically need an air conditioner. Mm -hmm. Like, like it's okay, maybe maybe you're okay at home just sitting there, you know, taking it easy with the fan and stuff like that. But if you if you're like at work, <laughs> you're at you're at an office or something like that. <laughs> Do you think you're gonna want to be doing much work without the air conditioning on? <laughs> ah yep, yep. Yeah, well that's better than 45. I nearly flipped my shit. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So that's looking better. So as you can see there, we've got no cables coming up in the bottom there. Everything's just sort of tucked in discreetly there behind the board. And so it's not going to look like an absolute dumpster fire with all these cables coming in from every direction because that's what that's what we're trying to avoid here right that's why people don't like seeing a micro in a full-size case and you might still not like it even even with this and that's completely fine I'm not going to tell I don't I don't tell people what to like you know what I mean I just know that the the vast majority of people, when you when you show them this, they'll go, "Oh, yeah, that's completely fine." No, I don't have a problem with that. I just didn't want crap sticking out from every direction. Alrighty, and so once again, here is a value proposition. So this little this little card here is, you know, technically designed for a mini ITX build, but 
it was on special and I saved the customer another 50 bucks by doing this. So between the board and the card, I've saved this customer a hundred dollars and probably got them 30% better gaming performance realistically because we got to keep the 3060 Ti. So a 3060 Ti is way better than a 3060, right? Because you've got the GA106 GPU that goes in the 3050 and the 3060, but then the 3060 Ti has the same GPU that they put in the 3070 and the 3070 Ti. So it's basically the light version of the 3070, not the better version of the 3060, despite what the name might lead you to believe. And that's why, another reason why, you know, I don't have any set configurations. So we can make these sort of changes and I'm not pressured to sell you just whatever the hell I've got on hand. We can just take an objective look at what's available at the moment, what the prices look like, and we can come up with what makes sense, what's going to get you the best value for money right now. Or not, we can get what's absolutely freaking looks absolutely sick and fuck the budget. That's completely fine too. Okay. Um, So yeah, just let me know if you wanna if you wanna swap these black power cables out for um, white cable extenders. You'll still have these cables at the back, but at the front we'll have um, we'll have white ones. And so they're normally about eighty dollars a set. And you'll get one for the motherboard, the graphics card, and the CPU. They don't add any extra performance, but it's all about the looks in this case. And I don't care if you get them or not, because I don't hold any stock. So everything that I get for customers' orders, I purchase as it comes in. Which gives us flexibility. see some upgrades in the future so I'm definitely gonna chuck in all the extra power cables here to come with this power supply because we actually get quite a fair few extra cables and then all we need to do is just tuck some of this motherboard power just around the lip of the case just like we've done with the CPU power cable there all these light ones here they'll just they'll just sit in place with our back panel closed. So it doesn't have to be perfect around the back. You're wasting your time and wasting your money putting a heap of cable ties in at the back. That's why we have a back panel that's not see-through. If you've got a see-through back panel, well, you might have to take a little bit more time with your cabling. Or not, because I mean, you're gonna be looking in this side, not the other side. Go. 
So let's see if it actually works. That's the main question. And after this, we got a 4090 rig. So the other end of the spectrum. And so, so this one, the 4090 from Mark, is for a racing scene. It's going to stay up to date for a while. What's up? Um, Max wants to know, do you have favorite places like ones that are just easy to build Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The Antec, the Antec Deflux is, is pretty much my go-to. They're my, they're my recommendation if your budget's right. So you pretty much, you pretty much can't go wrong with them. And what I mean by that is you get three pre-installed addressable RGB fans in the front. You get a six device fan and RGB controller that's addressable. So you hook one RGB cable up to the motherboard, one fan cable up to the motherboard. Then you can plug six fans and six RGB in the back, out of sight, behind that back panel. Then you can mount three three and a half inch drives and three two and a half inch drives all at the same time around the back. So basically it's made perfect use of all the space that's in that case and you can mount a heap of drives. So whether it whether you want to use it like as a PC and like a little like home NAS system with a few drives hooked up, you can do that. Um, it's just so versatile, it's easy to build in, it's a full size ATX case. Um, no um, no EATX motherboards, but it's not really a problem. And yeah, you can mount a 360mm radiator up top. So yeah. Like I said, you pretty much you pretty much can't go wrong from a building or upgrade perspective. So when it comes to um, recommending a case for people who just don't really have any preference, don't really care what their what their case looks like, just as long as it's quote unquote good and looks decent. You want to share the screen here, babe? That's looking like we've got a post. Yeah. Oh, you got the D600, the, the D700, the D800, um, and other ones as well. So Antec have this, for those, for those three models I just named with the D, that's all the same, it's all the same chassis, it's just got a different front panel on it. So if you don't like the look of one front panel, you can go with another one, or another one. And still keep all the fundamentals of the case the same. So it's an excellent case, and it's excellent for, like, it's great for um, giving to a user who wants to do their own upgrades and stuff like that. Because I know that, you know, it's not going to be super, super hard for them to add a, a liquid cooler to it and stuff like that. Whereas, um, yeah, if it's if it's a case of, you know, some, some other cases, it's like, oh, geez, they're going to have to pretty much pull this whole thing apart to, to work on it. And, and that's, not, that's not ideal for most people.
Sorry about that. That, that was my bad. Christine I knocked the cable out. I stood on it. <laughs> and I didn't even realise. But yes, I do. I also rate this this little case here. This has been this has been lovely to build in as well. Ah, yes, yes. I mean, that's what I mean. Like, there's there's all aesthetic choices when it comes to this. It's a lot like cars. What would be really cool is if we could like 3D print like a custom panel for the for the deflux case. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's it's pretty full on right now, so well I woke up at 3.30. And I do frequently sort of wake up in the middle of the night and go to the toilet and get a drink and go back to bed. But what's happening at the moment, because I've got so much work on, I wake up and then my brain starts ticking. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go do a few quotes. And then I look up and then it's like quarter to seven. And then I'm like, okay, well, like the day's started now. So I may as well, may as well go have my... Go have my juice and magnesium and start my morning ritual and go get some breakfast and all that lovely stuff. And then, yeah, before you know it, it's 8 o'clock at night again. So, yeah, I do have a lot of, I do have a lot of work. I do have a lot of stuff to catch up on. I'm always catching up at the moment. Okay, so we'll select our country of origin, which is Australia. Oh, shouldn't have that plugged in yet. If you have your internet cable plugged in while you're doing a Windows install, it'll force you to sign into a Microsoft account. But we don't like to set any passwords or create any accounts on behalf of customers. What's up? Hey, Mark, how you going? So I think this is Mark from the um the forty eighty build that we've got coming up. I you said it was 49. No, it's forty eighty. Oh. Did I put forty ninety in the description? I think so. Yes. <laughs> oh good one. Ugh. The stop clock's right twice a day. <coughs> no, 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 this isn't yours. Yours is coming up. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. I've had a long day. Uh -huh. We're at the, um, we're nearly at the 17 hour point for me so far today. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Do I sound enthused about that? <laughs> okay. Let's 
So we can go ahead and declutter some of this stuff. Alright, so I need a few things from here, like MSI Center. Every so often I get a, I'll get a message from a customer saying, I'm locked out of my PC, do you know what the password is? And, and it's like, no, 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 I never set any passwords. It's not, I don't, I don't do that, I'm not about that. I don't keep a record of like people's computers and their passwords and stuff like that. I don't set any password. If they're asking you for a password that you didn't set, hit enter with a blank password, because that's what I do when I set it up. Yeah, yeah, dude. I totally get it. Normally, normally, um, normally my job's not not quite that full on, but certain times of the year it can get it can get like that, you know, around tax time and around Christmas. Yeah. Then there's just the normal distribution of birthdays and stuff throughout the year, so that's that's a little bit better. Okay, so we'll set up MSI Center here. So this is basically like the, the software that would come on the CD with your motherboard, back when we used to have CDs. Don't really use CDs anymore. The new motherboards don't even come with CDs. So there's our graphics card driver. Tim. Yeah. Mr. Lodge says, I remember the last and heavy six hundred years I upgraded my CPU and motherboard and I better to go up to something like a fifty eight hundred X or stick that and go straight to the eighty five platform like seventy six hundred X. I would, I would, if you've got the money, I'd just, I'd just go for the AM5 platform at this stage. That just makes sense because knowing AMD, they'll probably release a few generations of, of CPU on that same socket. So you'll probably be able to upgrade your CPU again pretty soon. The Hoff, the Hoff has landed, hey? Yes. Very cool. So what's the Hoff? The Hoff is Galaxies. Galaxies? <laughs> yeah, the Hoff is Galaxies equivalent to like the Rog Strix. It's got dual 16 pin and 666 power limit. What the hell? What is wrong with me SSD? Why are you why are you why are you being temperamental?
All right, so is this just an issue with the drivers for the USB on the motherboard, or is this an issue with my SSD, or is it an issue with the motherboard? Let's give it another go. Still seems to be loading really slow, right? Alright, so let's get some other software installed now that my SSD seems to be working a little bit better. Crystal Disk Info and Disk Mark. These test the, the status of our storage devices. Yeah, this is still feeling a little bit strange. Oh no, here comes the fluffy cat. Yeah. Oh, it's usually squat on top of the computer. No, no, you can't sit on the dust filters, dude. <laughs> oh. 
you, 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 you damage the dust filters. So, yeah. And also, what's this PC you're currently building? So this one here is a Ryzen 5600 and an RTX 3060 Ti in the Thermaltake S200 TG case, which is a newer case, and it certainly looks the goods. What's that smell? I don't know. It smells like rotten eggs. Yeah, I know. I just started smelling. What the fuck is that? Is there something downstairs? Or is it someone's someone's car? Because you'll get that from the alternator yeah, overcharging in someone's car. doesn't even seem like it's installed At properly. first I thought it was the cat that farted or something. <laughs> <laughs> Smelly cat farts. So my SSD was working fine earlier, so... Don't you jump! Oi! That was the pack leader yell just then. Oh. Stuff. That's what he's been eating. They'll be very excited because it's dinner time. Okay. So let's give this another try. Looks like we're, geez, we're having major problems here with this. Oh. 
this looks like it's working a little bit better. Yeah. Yep. Yes, send, send me a message. Send me a message. It's the best way to get in contact with me. Getting a lot of instability from this, eh? See this? You, see, you noticing this? Yeah. Dude, send me a message, send me a message, and I'll send you a copy of the invoice total. I don't remember. I do so many quotes for people every day. Let me go and force a restart on this. Because I'm getting a few strange issues with it. Yeah. Oh, you don't want 1660. Oh, God, no, dude. Definitely not 1660. Unless you want to buy a brand new four year old graphics card. And I didn't even know if they're in stock anymore. Because they've stopped production of them. So we've got a bit of a strange issue with stability there, so I'm just turning off the XMP just to cover all bases, because sometimes memory profiles can can lead to weird, weird issues. It's normally in a game that you'd notice that, but yeah. These kind of problems can be the worst to sort of diagnose.
Okay, so everything looks okay there now. Is the issue just my SSD or was it the memory? So just plug my SSD in again. Still got that weird issue with my SSD. How are we going now? Okay, well, it seems to be going all right now. Yeah, well, it seems to be fine now. But I did have that initial sort of same problem with my SSD, so maybe my maybe my enclosure's starting to die. Always a bit of fun. That should be that should be everything we need. Everything's looking alright. Yep. Yep, all good. That'll be done in a second. Now have the drives to set up. Geez, we got there in the end, but it seems seems to be working completely fine now. Oh well, that's why we do the stress tests. Because normally, if you've got a problem and then you start running a bit of power through it, get a bit of temperature going on, you're increasing the chance that it will actually die on you. And that might sound like a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing because if it dies, if it dies on us while I've got it, it's very easy for me to replace it. All right, 
we'll set up our on-screen display, and then we'll run some gaming benchmarks. And then we've got to get on to the main PC for tonight, which is Mark's 4080 gaming, sorry, um, sim setup. Okay. So we'll run heaven here on high with no anti-aliasing. And so if you're wondering what graphics card this is, this is the 3060 Ti. The dual mini version. Solid 250 FPS in the opening scene. Not too shabby. Very true. I was just reading this article. Mm. In the seventies, there was reports of um, the beetles being so like, so prolific that the trees' branches would like weigh down the weight of the yeah. stuff. But now there's a whole lot of yeah.
Alrighty, so that was Heaven there on high with max, sorry, with no anti-aliasing. And next we're going to run Valley on Ultra with max anti-aliasing. What's his what's his name, sorry? Jonathan. Yeah. We've heard about this guy. Alrighty, so that was Valley there on Ultra with max anti-aliasing. And then finally, we have Superposition at 4K.
Alrighty, so that was our 4K benchmark. So now, stress test time. Okay, so we just let this one run for the next 90 minutes. Generate a bit of heat in there, make sure nothing's overheating. So we'll put that one back to the side and we'll go back to full screen mode and we can get started with our main event tonight. So this is Mark's 4080 rig. So we got a i7 12700K, 12 core 20 thread CPU. We have a Z690 motherboard there, an MSI A Wi-Fi DDR4 version. We got a one terabyte NVMe SSD and a 16 gigabyte kit of memory. And we got a Aorus 360mm all-in-one liquid cooler to go with it. So that will keep everything nice and cool. Alright, so let's get started on our next one. And so this is the Antec D800 Flux. So we were talking about these earlier. We do have a rear IO shield for this. I might want to get that out. Oh, definitely feeling what? Nearly 18 hours old. I definitely feel each of those 18 hours right now. Okay, so our 12700K doesn't come with a cooler, so you have to buy a cooler for this one. You can't just stick it on the board. Had a couple of people, <laughs> had this one guy who wanted to buy all his own parts, and he started by having a system so old and trying to buy a modern graphics card to put in it, and it was a different PCIe generation. So you couldn't get that card to run, so then you need to buy a new motherboard, CPU and RAM. And he decide, I tell him what to buy, but then he decided to do his own research. And then people were saying, no, 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 that's a bad CPU. You've got to get this i7. And so he gets an i7K series like this with no cooler. And then after he spent all this money, I'm like, dude, why did you do that? He's like, oh, I went online and... They were saying that that's not a really good CPU and that I should get this. And I'm like, okay, yeah. So now they've basically locked you into, you need to, you need to buy a CPU cooler for it now because it doesn't come with a cooler. The one I recommended to you, dude, that was the one you should have gotten. It was going to be paired perfectly with the graphics card that you bought and wasn't going to cause you a problem. So he learned the hard way. So if I tell you to get a certain CPU, get that CPU. 
don't do your own research. <laughs> Everyone's got a different definition of good, right? Okay, and so this is the crucial one terabyte P3 NVMe SSD. So this one here is on par with a um, Samsung 970 Evo. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a, today's been a very, very long day, but we're getting there. Seriously? And so all our crucial drives come with a five-year warranty. And Crucial is owned by a company called Micron. And they're a massive, massive player in storage and memory, mainly for enterprise. Crucial is their consumer brand. But yes, they're, they're, they're big. They're another big company that makes this stuff so there's nothing wrong with going with one of their products. Samsung's the brand that consumers are most familiar with because of their other products and they they charge you more for, for the name. So I normally I normally only get Samsung drives when, when the customer requests it. Just because it's not the best price performance. Because there's only a few companies that are capable of manufacturing um, NAND flash, which is the, the type of memory that SSDs use. The, so the quality is fairly consistent. What's up? Yeah, pretty much, man, pretty much. No, this time of year, you, you're either you're either you're either keeping up or you don't keep up. So yeah, I've just got to I've just got to keep up with it for a few more weeks, then I can have a few days off maybe. But yeah, this is a busy time of year, so we gotta we gotta keep going. They're always playing cheese. <laughs> We are old school ravers. With Acer Tech, as A, -A S E R T E K. Let me let me just let me just read it because we've got companies that sound very very similar in name. Aztec. I think he did. He mean Antec. I. I don't know who manufactures the the um the cooler, because obviously Aorus and Gigabyte don't manufacture their own coolers. Um, most coolers come from two companies. That is Acer Tech, not to be confused with Asus. Um, and Cooler Master. Now, if I was to take a guess based on the style, I'm pretty sure this is an Acetec design. But I could be wrong. So we'll 
chuck on our LGA 1700 back plate there. There's no sticky or anything to hold it down, so just be careful you get that in place. And that looks like AM4, AMD. That looks like our Intel bracket. TR4 we don't need. What have we got in here? Intel. And our generic bolts. <laughs> oh no, I've I've been I've been ice skating, I just um I just can't do it. I can't roll a blade and I can't ice skate. <laughs> Okay, okay. So what are they as did you say they're called Aztec? Now, if you're wondering how I'm still going, I have had a power nap today. So that's the only way I survive. I'm used to long, I'm used to long days. I did, I did 11 years at Coles as a manager, so believe me, I've done my, I've done my time. Aztec. So I've got the same, i got the same CPU oh. here in mine. Acetec. Uh, Acetec? Yeah. Yeah, Acetec is one of the companies that make coolers. So yeah, I think this is an Acetec cooler. But you'd have to double check. Um, first video for me... This morning, that was around midday. It's now nine o'clock at night. Here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's 9 o'clock at night, and I've been up since 3.30 a.m. local time. So I'm now, like, pushing 18 hours old. So I don't know if you've heard that expression over in in the UK, referring to how many hours you're up as how, how many hours old you are. I'm not sure if that's a global thing or just a thing that me and my friends used to say. Yes, yeah, so that first one, that was, that was, um, yeah, that was pretty much midday for us here in Australia.
Okay, so we're going to have the radiator mounted like this in our case. Our cables down this direction. That bad? What do you mean? Oh, the time. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm tired. I'm sure we can all tell. I try to remain as high energy as possible for YouTube. <laughs> but inside, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of dying. I'll make it. I'll make it through this month. And then I can run some I can run less ads in January maybe. See I can't stop, I can just stop advertising. And that will reduce the number of messages that I get. That's the hardest thing. Like this time of year, you've gotta you gotta advertise this time of year, right? Like even if you've got even if you've got a bit of a presence and stuff like that, even if you've got followers and all that, you still gotta advertise because if not, you're not gonna get your business in front of like other potential customers. So if you want to grow, you have to have to advertise at certain times of the year plus you've got to compete you've got to also spend enough on advertising this time of year if not your ads not going to get seen because it's basic up by everybody else. yeah everybody else is advertising so you've got to it's it's like a bidding thing all right so you want a little bit of a marketing trick for facebook like i don't i don't go into I facebook no 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 Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not give. I'm not talking about any dollar amounts here and stuff. But you got to outbid people, okay? So Max says when you build mine, I'll make sure it's in build. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 fine. No, it's not gonna be. It's it's no issue. Don't don't feel bad about me. Don't feel bad about me. I'm making. He puts himself in yeah, this I, I'm making. I'm making money. I'm I'm running a business here. It's fine. Don't 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 feel bad for me. All right. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to seek sympathy or, or any of that from anyone. I'm just, just saying. Like, it gets a bit. It gets a bit full on this time of year. Okay. So we've got our cooler all sorted. I can probably I can probably go and plug in our fans and get them all tied up. All bunched up together. Okay, all right. So our board's all prepped. So now it's time to turn our attention to the case.
Alrighty. So around the back here, I'll show you. I'll show you what's good about this case. It's all the drive mounting positions. Apparently a host on Fox News in America, which is like, it's, it's almost like it's satire sometimes, some of the shit that's on there. It's like, it's insane. You're like, are people actually sitting here taking this seriously? Because I watch it, I'm just like, ha ha ha. It's like a bit of a, bit of a joke, you know? Like, um, rem remember, who remembers Full Frontal? I'm showing my age a bit there, aren't I? That was, that was good fun, right? News satire. Yeah. But it's, it's actually, it's actually oh, meant to be serious. Like and, and a, 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 apparently a host has asked on air why we just can't raise the Titanic. We could just put balloons under it. <laughs> Pat you from the head, feed you from the hand. <laughs> As if you could, oh yeah, we'll just, we'll just raise the, the freaking fully, like, oxidized remains of the Titanic that was made out of steel and wood in, like, 1912 or whenever it set sail. It was probably made before 1912, right? So, even earlier than that. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine how much of that is left now? Uh, not much. I don't think there's much of it left. Just saying. It's not. It's not even new 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 news. <laughs> no. Say that really That's fast. Fine. New news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say it three times really really fast. No, nah, that's it's hilarious, right? America's kind of crazy. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind living there at some stage, just just to, just to go. Oh, I've lived there. But like, I don't know if I could handle it. There's some, there's some full-on people over there. Eh? They're not as chilled out as us in Australia. We're all like, you know, we're all chill over here. We're all good. There's like hardly any like crazy people here. But over there, they're just freaking full-on. It's just like. Chill out, dude. Just relax. Just fucking relax, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what's like in Australia. We're just a like, fucking relax, can Chill the fuck out. Over there, that you know, you, you say that and you get fucking shot. <laughs> Like, I just wanted you to fucking chill out. You're saying that on the way to the hospital? In the ambulance that costs like 15 grand to go to the hospital? Because <laughs> it's not freaking funded. Lizzo's a champion. Got mad, got mad love for Lizzo. No, no, no. You, I, you don't have to worry about that. Because if I, if I fuck it up, it's on me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to Kabulcha. I know, I know. 
Kabulcha's not as bad as DB. Yeah, DB, Kalanga, Kabulcha, Bourbon Gary. Yeah, I know, I know. I grew up at Fernie Grove. Just to give you a bit of an idea. Fernie Grove. Yep. It's not it's, very it, broken through it's there. It's a, it's a... It's a very flat it's, area now. Yeah, it's... Even when, I, even when I was there, it was very, like, sort of like... I don't know, the average job was a plumber or something like that. <laughs> that was that kind of area, sort of like middle class yeah. sort of thing. You know, I remember like, I remember my... Middle to upper middle. Yeah, I remember going, I remember going with my parents and checking out like, we checked out this like house on like five acres at Sanford. It had like freaking five bedrooms plus a computer room and all this shit, it was like a mansion basically, mm. on like five acres, and they were like, oh, it's $200,000, oh, it's a bit expensive, we better not, we better not buy it. Yeah, it'd <laughs> like be worth over a million bucks. But yeah. Yeah. They also, yeah, like they, they've been kicking themselves with real estate their whole life, like they... They they could have they sold a place at East Brisbane for seventy grand. Yes. Yep. Yep. We had a we had an earthquake in Fernie Grove. It was only five point six, so most people didn't feel it, but it did a bit of structural damage to some places. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's where we are, man. We're in we're in Underwood. We're in Underwood. So, about as north as Logan gets. But no, Underwood's still... Underwood's still Underwood, man. I, I, I had friends in, in Logan and stuff. We used to... Went, took Christine down the Hyperdome the other day and I was telling her about how I used to go to... Back, back when I was a kid, I'd go to the underage dance parties that were at the, at the Hyperdome. Or the Hyperage or something like that back in the day. See, before I was a raver, I was a sucker for those underage raves. PCYC discos and all that shit. Yep, sweet. Uh, it's always good. I, I, I'm... Next year, I'm planning to do some some different marketing, and I wanna I want to um I want to be the I want to be the place to go for for PC repairs in in Logan. Because I think that I think that Logan's in need of a good a good PC repair guy. Honest, not gonna rip you off. I've, just from the few people I've had, I've, I've dealt with, the, apparently there's just some real, like, shit cunts around, basically. Like, I was, I was over at one guy's place, he, he called me up, he had, he had some problems, and, like, his, his wife and his kids were away that, like, one night, and he was like, oh, I haven't been able to play Call of Duty for ages. And he had, he had all, he had some sort of, I can't even remember what his problem was, but he called me up at literally like five, five forty in the afternoon on a Saturday. And he's like, can you possibly come out to my place now and help me fix my computer? And I was like, geez, dude, I'm like, I'm like, I can't, I can't do it for free, man. Like I, 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 I want to like, I want to help you out, but I'm also like running a business here. And I kind of got to, like, I've got to charge you an after-hours call-out fee rate for this. And he's, he's just like, oh, fuck, okay, okay, whatever, do it. I need, I, I want to get this fixed, if not, I don't even know when I'm going to be out of game next. And I was like, oh, shit, okay. What's up? Well, I was, I was a young, I was a young kid, I was a young kid, and I was hanging out with all of my other young kid neighborhood friends, like, I was, 
I was actually one of the youngest in the group. We were a group aged between like 12 and about 16, 17. So, yeah, we were just hanging out down the park at like, it's like 8 o'clock at night or something like that when it when it hit. And um, we're all just sitting there at the, at the park bench just fucking around being kids. And yeah, we, we all just were like, what the hell was that? Like, we, we were on, like, a, we were at a bench that was, like, on concrete on the ground. And so when we felt the whole thing shake for a second, we, we knew that was something. And then, like, the next day we saw in the paper there was an earthquake. We were like, we felt that. Yes, yes, old school. Okay. So we don't have any offsets to adjust here. Because we've got a full-size ATX board in a full-size ATX case. We just have the cooler there. All right, now I've got to get this all nicely lined up. This is the sort of stuff that Max would want done right, or anyone would want done right. Yeah, he's he's a fluffy cat. I'm 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 sorry about that, but he is very fluffy. And he has smelly breath. Smelly cat breath. Yeah. So yeah, full-size ATX board in a full-size ATX case, so we don't have any cabling to do discreetly behind the motherboard like what we did with the PC before. So yeah, one of the advantages of having the Lazy Susan, other than just being easier to turn around and stuff while I'm working on the PC and easier to show to um, all the viewers, is I can, I can just hang it over the edge of the desk and I can feed all these cables through the top and they just stick out the bottom there. back hand down but it certainly makes life a bit easier being able to use gravity to sort of feed those cables through at the back there okay Six point five mil in Darwin. Yeah. Bloody hell! Is it the Taj Mahal or something? Well, it basically is. It's got a stone bath, like bath, oh and put out a giant rock, like, <laughs> and the ba and the hand basin. That's a master on sleep. But isn't it? Isn't it a bit of a? Yeah. It's isn't a bit that? Of a kick in the face to all no, 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 no. That's not what I was going to say. Isn't it? But isn't it a bit lame? To, to have to need to move if you're super rich you have to move to darwin to have a mansion that means you sort well, of well if you can afford 6.5 million you can buy a house like that anyway one could argue that you're a bit of a poser <laughs> do, do yeah. you see what i mean like yeah. you got to move up there 
to get the lifestyle. Four bedrooms. It's waterfront, right? Oh, it's got two waterfronts. Two waterfronts? Yeah. It, uh, you oh, so it's like a corner block yeah. on the water. <laughs> water corner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, know, do you know what song comes in my head looking at that? What? Riverside, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that song. <laughs> I like it because it's like, it makes me think of Brisbane. Mm -hmm. And I get those pride tears come through. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's us. It's all about us. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, what you charge isn't so much the problem. It's it's mainly it's it's can you can you actually fix the person's computer? I mean, I do no fix, no pay repairs. I find that people people are happy to pay as long as you get the thing fixed. You don't just fuck around for an hour and get paid a couple of hundred bucks and you don't actually solve anything. That's, that's what I find people hate the most. Normally, you know, if people are on a really tight budget, they normally let me know in advance. And plus I'm, you know, I've done my, I've done my bit, done my time at Coles as a manager. I've done my time in sales manager roles. So I'm pretty good at reading people. So if you're on a really, really, really tight budget, then you know, I'll do what I can to, to keep that keep the cost down for you. And as you come to me, you know, in, in, in a Mercedes or something like that, I'm I'm not gonna be as motivated to keep the cost down for you. But that those two customers are two completely different people. And they have slightly different expectations of, of what you're going to provide as well. So there's that to consider as well. Okay, so we got a couple of cables plugged in for our CPU power up the top. I've already, I've already plugged in our fan cables here for, for our cooler. Okay. Yeah, it's the little things in this case, right? It's the little little things that, that make it. So you know we've got a we've got a hole cut in the bottom of the case that leaves just enough cable length to wrap that front panel audio cable all around the, the, the um the side of the case there. And just enough room with a hole cut at the right spot where you can plug it in there without having half the cable or an inch of the cable across the bottom there. So really, really good design. And that's part of the reason why I like these cases. It's not, it's not because, you know, it's not because I like them personally, so I'm pushing them on everyone. It's a case of they, they are objectively really, really good cases. They're really, really easy to build in. 
And I know that if I recommend something like this to a customer and they want to do any upgrades, they're not gonna they're not gonna be hating me for selling in this case. They're gonna go, oh, that was relatively easy. Problem is, they won't know how easy they've got it compared to other cases. But you know, that's all right. That's for me to know. <laughs> So I'll let customers pretty much get whatever case they want within reason. Like if I've got a if I've got a solid reason or a solid case against that case, then I'll I'll um I'll let that be heard. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Get a fair few. I've um I've got my I've got my logo on a couple of people's cars. So keep your eye out for that, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm, I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head um, what what events they play in and stuff like that. But you know, these these are these are very these are very very keen players who have systems like yours. Like they're not they're not 40 series because they didn't buy them when 40 series was out. I've got two two guys that have 3090 rigs that do sim racing, and and you know, 3090 very expensive. Just like this, very expensive, very high performance. They went with the best that they could get, money be damned. So I know that they're, they're real serious. My wife, Christine, she loves racing. She's sort of getting into that whole whole thing right now, actually. Mm -hmm. and that's all, and that's, there's nothing worse than getting someone to fix something, paying them, and being told, yeah, she's fucking Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now I never I never charge I never charge people money for things like that. Like if if your computer's completely screwed, I'll just I'll just go and tell you. I'll be like, look, I played around with it, it's got some problems, it's fucked. And yeah, I won't I won't ever charge someone just to tell them what's wrong with their PC. And especially not if you're um if you're actually my customer and I've built the PC for you. Um yeah, like I had a guy, I had a guy come back um, just the other day. He had a bad, um, he had a power supply that had died on his PC. You know, it's a warranty thing. And he's like, "Oh, how much do I owe you?" And I didn't even, I didn't even write back to the message. <laughs> I was too busy. I was like thinking to myself, "You don't owe me anything, mate. Just, just come pick it up." <laughs> so he probably thinks he probably thinks I forgot to charge him or something like that. <laughs> No, 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 I don't forget to charge people. <laughs> Wouldn't be in business if I forgot to charge people. But no, if you're one of my customers and the thing's under warranty, then of course it's no, no charge. I just, I just fix that up for you. Yeah, it's an easy fix. And see, I don't, I don't buy stuff from like, you know, I don't go onto PC Part Picker and go, right, I can get this from 10 different places and I can save myself a little bit of money, like $100 or something like that. And then we'll go, we'll get this part from this place and this part from this place and this part from this place. We don't do any of that. I, I, use, I use the wholesalers and retailers here in Brisbane to, to buy all my stuff. I've got accounts and stuff like that with them. And um, that's how I like to do business. I buy stock pretty much every day. So they all those all those companies they know me. They'll just be like, "Hey Tim, here's your here's your um, here's your stock for the day," sort of thing. Like um, Umart, Umart is a is a, is one I'll buy a lot of stuff from, right? And and they they know me. They have they have my stock in a special section there <laughs> to pick up. Because of the way I do business and I order every day. And yeah, Umart, Umart's typically one of the cheapest in the market. They've been a little bit sort of less, less cheap, I guess, over the last sort of 12 months or so. But the thing is, Scorptech has now launched in Brisbane. And so with that... 
with that comes, yeah, potentially cheaper prices for a lot of different things. Yeah, yep. Yeah, well like I like I said, Acetec Acetec make a lot of the coolers. They're one of the only companies that that can actually make coolers. Any of you that are sort of tech people how funny was it how funny was it hearing that Apple Apple are gonna start sourcing TSMC silicon instead of making their own? Yeah that's that's Acetec, that's the same company that does the coolers. They make coolers they make coolers for, for everyone, basically. Because it's a very particular item, these all in one liquid coolers. Okay. Yeah. Eat shoe sold separate. <laughs> okay. That is everything all hooked up. Hey Queen Waffles, how you going? Good to have you with oh, us. Good. I said that for a long time. <laughs> <Waza>. <laughs> Makes me think of scary movie. Do you know they remade, they've, they've done a modern scary movie? Mm -hmm. I, I was watching it, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's as funny to me anymore. Not like the old ones were. Yeah, movies aren't what they used to be anyway. Who else who else notices that? Except for that new horror movie that I saw like, That looks alright because it's actually something different. It's something that I can't remember what it's called. It's just because they've done all the freaking all the things, right? Okay, oh <laughs> NVIDIA quick install guide. <laughs> Look at this beast. Godouge. She loves looking at the graphics cards. I want to peel. Oh, no. you want to peel? No. Make sure you come in front of the camera. Yeah. Don't do that. Very nice. Oh shit. Oh, that's right. It's just one of those plugs came out of the back. Is it last? It's my fans too. But yeah, just just hold that up to the camera so people can truly get a get a feel for just how massive these things are. That is a chunky boy. Mm -hmm. That's a triple. That's a triple slot at the back, and it's still a bit more. It's it's three and a half slots thick. Still sticky. Is it sticky? 
might just trip him. You might, be, you might be tripping, babe. Yeah, I know. Ooh, there's cat hair on it now. Oh, yay. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> we don't need any fluffy cat hair on this. Mark didn't order any cat hair for his pizza. <laughs> I can double check the order, but I don't believe he ordered any cat hair. You do have to forgive us if there is like a piece of cat hair or something like that in your computer. So we've got this big fluffy cat, and I keep freaking having the conversation with him, and he keeps ignoring me. I tell him he's got to stop being so fluffy. I tell him he's got to cut it out. He's not listening to me. This continues to be fluffy. It's a massive one. So this is the RTX 4080. Now this card's gotten a lot of like hate and stuff. People are like, ooh, no one's buying the 4080 and, and stuff like that. The reason why no one's it's not because it's a bad card. It's not that's not the reason why no one's buying it. No one's buying it because it's essentially people see it as too expensive and they're waiting for the Radeon cards to be released because they think that potentially it will drop the price of the the 40 series I don't think it's going to drop that much but who knows it will all depend on exactly what the, the performance is like from these systems Actually, oh no, we don't. It's the MSI one that we get the get the other ones. Okay, so we're gonna need. Don't mind me as I try to line these up. Okay, so the trick to wiring these cables up with these clunky ass 12 pin adapters is to line your line your um, 8 pin cables up like this. Get them all facing the right way, and then just tie it off and flatten out <laughs> the cable there. So, That's no, step one. <laughs> <laughs> and then use another cable tie to tie down any excess plugs that you have from your cables. So you want to have, you want to be creating with cable ties. A cable that looks roughly like this with your three eight pins nice and in line like that so I found that this is the best way to do it I've done I've done a few of them so I've been able to experiment and this is the best way to do it and so you could you could run the, the cables below. I always like to run them above. I guess it's a house style, I guess you could say. No, the reason why I do this is because you can, by having the cable above, you can provide a bit of extra support for the card. And that can sometimes negate the need for um, graphics card support brackets which can be a bit of a pain in the ass, let's face it. Ouch. <laughs> so there, that is all nice and neat there. So if you can't quite see what I've done, Got the three cables nice and in line there and it's coming in over the top there 
So all of our RGB and writing on the side of our card is all completely unobstructed. Okay, so finally, that is a rig. So I'm just going to borrow our peripherals from our last PC. No issues with the, the stress test over there. I've been monitoring it on the screen here while I've been building this. Okay. Yeah. Micro Center is like a, um, a PC, PC parts retailer. Sort of like, um, sort of like Newmart, but they've got like stock on show. Ah. That's the best way to explain it. Um, Centercom in Melbourne's kind of like that. So we do, we do have someone who's kind of like that, but in general, it's it's a high security stuff. So. You can go into various Umart stores, the, the new Scorp Tech at Tingalpa. They're going to have some stock on display, just like the, the Umart at Mansfield or Eight Mile Plains. In Chermside, they have some stock on display. Um, but yeah, I mean, fundamentally, if you're in, if you're in Queensland, Umart, between Umart and Scorp Tech, they are going to have your back, okay? And in terms of their pricing, it's it's pretty good, okay? A lot of the time, a lot of the time stuff is just as cheap for me at Umart or at the wholesaler. So if I buy stuff wholesale, it's normally it's normally some bulk purchasing of, of certain certain items. But when it comes to um, when it comes to ordinary things, a lot of it I can just buy it from Umart. And Umart is five minutes from my house. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we just want to we just want to like put that up there so people know that you know we are um, well we are not gay um, we we don't have any problems with people like that where we support all all people and all genders I, I I I'm not an expert at this stuff man I don't know the right I don't necessarily know the right words. But I certainly don't discriminate against anyone based on shit like that. Mm. That's just that's just silly. That doesn't make sense. We're all human. Yep, yeah, everyone's all have red blood. Everyone's a human. Potentially my bad. How about now? Okay, I will. Yeah, it's posting. No problems there. Yeah, but you kind of need to fix the bearings. Yeah, you can, you can get me a BIOS, BIOS, babe. Sure. Okay. So, what, what's the dealio here?
Alright. Can you let me know how it's get, how what the fans look like? Are they lighting up yet? Uh, the one at the back is. Oh, there it is. Is that all three? Yeah. All three and front. Sweet. Yeah, it's real painful with those Aorus coolers. This is one thing I'll mark it down on is the daisy chaining up the fans each each cable is its own is its own cable it's not like a male and female on the same wire so if you plug the wrong if you plug them in in the wrong order you'll end up with fans not lit up says I'm obligated to know that stuff because someone out there in my family has five LGBTQ plus cousins and a baby. <laughs> oh really? It's not actually a pride flag, it's just a it's a sarong. Well, it's I, a I rainbow think sarong. It's a flag now because I don't wear it. <laughs> you don't have to tell everyone. <laughs> well just being honest. It's a flag now. Oh, she's, she's very insistent there. It's a flag now. Okay. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no point in, in that kind of stuff because if you're not like, if you're not like super, super religious, then it doesn't make any sense to just hate people for something that doesn't affect you. It just doesn't, like, it just doesn't affect me, man. It doesn't affect me. And it doesn't affect my friends who aren't gay. So it's, it's just, I don't understand why anyone should be. Yeah. I recently had a big fight with someone who's gay. <laughs> that that chick, my my Canadian friend, about Elon Musk. Oh. She was like she was like adamant that Elon Musk is a genius. I'm like, no, he's not a genius. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Not a genius, and she's like, no, 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 he's a genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kabulcha's Kabulcha's a bit of an interesting one. You know, it used to be it used to be all about Ipswich. Ipswich used to be really bad, but Ipswich isn't too bad actually. I've lived in I lived in Ipswich for a few years, so I was. I was there, I was there after the floods in, in 2011 mm. when the whole centre of town got flooded and the coals got flooded and they rebuilt the coals. I came there and, and opened that store after the floods, that was good fun. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. That's that was my that was my point. That was my point to my lesbian friend. But no, 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 no. I don't think you two are friends anymore. I, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't have deleted her. Well, she might have deleted you though. Maybe. I, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and then she like, then, then then you getting your wife involved. Yeah, she 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 she's accused me of getting Christine involved and it's like no 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 she, Christine's just read she just scrolled through Facebook and saw the conversation. I think I'm that lame that I need Christine to stand up for me in in debates and stuff. No, I don't, okay? Trust me. I'm a big kid now. 
Alrighty, so we've got a water cooler, XMP Profile 1, <laughs> latest version of BIOS, and... Yeah. Alrighty. Party on a Sunday night. Isn't that illegal? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I, think I, I know. I know it's not illegal. I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> Must be a house full of young people. Yeah. You know, Elon Elon Musk Elon Musk is is smart enough to get a degree and be rich because he was rich. He was born into money. His 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 um his family owned Emerald Mines, and he's from South Africa. So yeah, take that. Take that as it is, right? White man, right? A, a rich white man from South Africa. So yeah, go figure, right? They can be the most racist. Yeah, that's that's not 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 necessarily saying that you you're going to be a racist kind of person, but you're probably going to be a racist kind of person, right? Like if if you didn't know any better, and and we just started talking about the attributes of a person and and like where they're from and stuff like that and what how much money they had and you had to try to like wrap your head around what sort of personality type they'll be and what sort of you know views they'll hold yeah you wouldn't be thinking very good rich white guy south africa right <laughs> could there could there be a could there be a worse demographic of white rich person right could there be a worse country to be from i don't think there could be right america <laughs> yeah well maybe you could maybe say america but yeah even so in america there's a lot of really rich like liberal elites yeah, yeah, in america right so there's like heaps of them and they're like very very progressive sort of thing so you got that i don't think there's as many liberal elites in south africa <laughs> Yeah, of course he did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had all of the he had all of the advantages. He went and he went and got a physics degree, and never really did anything in physics. <laughs> <laughs> you could say SpaceX is, but you can also you can also make the That's argument not it's not anything. it's not like he's the the guy behind SpaceX. He just funds no. it. He's got other freaking guys there that are probably legitimate geniuses. Yeah. Yeah. He'd have he'd have other guys there who who are legitimate geniuses. And like maybe if you thought he was a genius before, maybe uh, all this crap with Twitter makes you sort of realize that he's just another dude. He's just a dude with money. It's easy it's easy to like get things right and be successful in business when you've got heaps of money. You don't have to have sort of any other qualities. If you've got heaps of money, you pretty much can't lose if you can invest in the right things and all that. The biggest barrier to most entrepreneurs out there is actually physically getting started and having enough cash to start. That's why so many of them, you know, go around trying to trying to dazzle investors. To get to get funding, so they could actually start their, you know, their their project. That's the hardest thing. Like even even something as simple as Tim's PC, I wouldn't have been able to just start this like that. It's the only reason I could start this is because I had a really good paying job and I was on good money. So in that transition, when I started Tim's PC during COVID. I was still earning good money, which allowed me to get started. And then when I was earning enough money from it, I quit my other job. But not everyone can do that because you need freaking, you need to have some fucking money in the first place.
Yeah, but he he's he's, he's not involved with PayPal anymore. He just gets money. He just gets royalties from it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, that, that's all. No, it's not. It's not good to worship celebrities just in general. Okay, no. Looks like we got no internet. No internet drivers. What was that? What's that meant to be? It's at, that's a, that's an actual an actual it's vibrator. It's called a magic wand. <laughs> it's called the, a magic wand. That's what's yeah. That's what they're called. They're called be, clit wands. Yeah, I know, but supposedly it has cool heating as well. Yeah, it's called a magic wand. All right, so I'm gonna plug in my Wi-Fi dongle. I got a decent little Wi-Fi dongle here. It's it's um five gigahertz. And it's AC, I think it's AC 600 or something, so it's pretty decent. There's a kitty quiet outside. Just hurt. Yeah. Now the dog's alive. Fluffy now. Okay. Who's like, can I play So that can be one of the frustrating things when you go to build your PC, especially now when the PCs aren't coming with CDs even. You get home and you plug your internet cable in and then you can't connect to the internet. <laughs> they call it the magic wand and it's a clip wand. Magic one massager. Yeah, the clip massager. <laughs> I don't think it's actually meant for that because it's being sold at Aldi, but, but that's what use that's it. what you <laughs> use it but that's what you use it for. <laughs> it's a clip wand, man. Oh, stop, stop. I, I know what a clip wand yeah, is. Just, just stop now. It's a thing. It's like Yeah, we all it's know a, it's a it, thing. It's a tangible thing. Uh, no, no need, no need to worship anyone. It, yeah. No, we're all we're all just humans. We, no one, no one's worthy of worship. That's that's where all the problems in in this world have sort of begun. When, when humans start to worship other humans as if they're like better than regular humans, that's that's the biggest mistake you can ever make. Whether it's a politician, a king, a rich guy, a businessman, just forget about worship. You can you can admire, you can look up to, that, that, that's completely fine. But worship, definitely not. Don't worship. That worship's bad. Uh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Fic fictional characters are, are worthy of worship. But you've got to think that they're fictional characters too. So the test of my SSD here will be if I plug it in to this PC, will I get the same sort of instability issues with it? Because if I get the same sort of instability issues with it on here, then I know it wasn't just our USB drivers stuffing up on the other PC. 
which I think it might have been. Because this seems to be working as normal. Crystal disk info, crystal disk mark. What? Alright, so we'll just set up all this usual stuff. And so yeah, if you are still using MSI Dragon Center, I would recommend you uninstall that and download MSI Center from the Windows App Store. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, a religion that worships Shrek. I think I need a religion that like worships ice cream or something. That might be more my thing. Worshipping food. <laughs> well, I've heard there's... A, this is a little bit sexual, but there's... there's Apparently there's a religion that worships curvy women's asses. That sounds pretty good to me. What? There's a religion that worships women with curvy asses. Yeah. Like I said, I could, I could get into that. I could work, that's definitely something I could worship. But I'd have to exclude fake curvy asses. Like the Kardashians or something like that. Because that's just all fakery. They've all got butt implants. <laughs> I'm sure that the 95% the, the male audience here would, would like, you know, probably 8 out of 10 would probably be like, yeah. Yeah, we could we could get into that. <laughs> Did you know that Shrekism is the native pagan religion? The Wagon Wagon Z area? Native pagan religion. And it is an official religion of Saxony, the town of Priceland and its colonies. Empire and it's 
tolerated official religion in Austria. So there you go. Wow, <laughs> okay. Jeez, it's way more mainstream than I thought. <laughs> Ew, why is Norton on there? We can fix that. So we don't need, we don't really need things like Norton anymore. Windows Defender does an excellent job of keeping everything safe. Norton will probably just slow down your computer, so I won't install that. Oh, it makes you feel really bad. Tell us why. That's all done. Okay, so one thing that we haven't got installed is our graphics card driver, <clears throat> for whatever reason. Did we get Cinebench on here? Yes, yes we did. Alright, I think it's working now. The first time I tried to install this, it's like, you do not have an NVIDIA graphics card connected. I'm like, uh, pretty sure I do. Shrek is love. Shrek is love. The real Cardassians. There's that graphics card driver. Alrighty, that's all sorted. Okay, that's sorted, that's sorted. Final thing we can do is we can turn on momentum cache for our drive. And so this uses the, the RAM to speed up the read and write speeds of our SSD. 
That's one of the advantages with a crucial SSD. You get their storage executive software that comes with it. And this should be done in a second. Okay, so we can go ahead and slide back on that panel, and we should be we should be looking pretty good now. So here we go, Microsoft Defender. This is this is the um, free antivirus that comes with Windows, which is excellent and completely satisfactory for standard users that just use their PC to game and stuff like that. If you've got more high security needs, then you can look at um, you can look at antivirus like third-party antivirus solutions. But it's not so much antivirus as it is internet security solutions. That's what it's about these days. And so your computer doesn't get um, doesn't get hacked and like a ransomware attack, which is where they take control of your computer and they go deposit one thousand bitcoin into this account to get control of your system again. And see, that doesn't matter for most people, because it's like, ah, suck shit, this is just a home computer, mate, I'm just going to delete everything and start again, ha, <laughs> see ya. But it's a big deal if it's, like, your main computer for your business or something like that. But the thing is, I, I have all my important stuff stored in cloud storage and stuff like that, off-site and offline backups, so... Yeah, I'm I'm kind of safe as well, but I still use a third-party internet security app just um, just because I always have, I guess. Hang on, we're missing missing heaven. What are you doing? Too much of heaven can bring you underground. Heaven. What's the next line? I don't even know. You don't know that you you know that song. Yeah. I had no idea what that song was about when I was young, and then I got older and stuff, and then I was like, 
Ah, they're talking about too many ecstasy pills. Ah, uh, I get it. I get it. It's about drugs. <laughs> like every other song. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So now we can run heaven. Oh, wait. We haven't even set up MSI Afterburner. See, I'm tired, but I still remember what I'm doing. Yep, GPU-1 is definitely our RTX 4080. Alright, so we got a 20-thread CPU here. Remember when an i7 used to be four threads? <laughs> now you've got now you got five times the threads on, on an i7. <laughs> okay. Now that's set up. We can run heaven on high with no anti-aliasing. And so that number there below RAM is how many frames per second we're currently running. That looks fucking sick. It's barely trying. <laughs> it's just like, eh, it's a 1080p benchmark. I don't even care. I'm not even going to run it 99%. So I'm a couple of years older than you, so Shrek was out like when I was a bit older. So I saw Shrek, I've but... I've seen the first one. Oh wait, I've seen the second one too. And that's about it. Not I remember Shrek. Puss in Boots, the cat. Yeah. He was cool. Isn't it the second one? I don't know. Oh, I, I can't remember. It's been a long time. I'm probably, I'm, I'm probably insulting Queen Waffles here. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, I'm born in the 80s. So, yeah. Late 80s? Yeah, but still the 80s. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, look at that percentage. It's it's not even trying. It is not even trying. Look at that wattage. That's the that's the top right value there. The wattage is ridiculous. It's not even using any power. It's using less power than the freaking the the 3060 Ti was. And doing like nearly double the frames from that. So, I mean, you know, we could go into MSI Afterburner and we could we could turn it all up to max and stuff like that, but you don't even need to. Look at that frame rate. Guaranteed, your eyes cannot see the difference between 250 frames a second and 500 frames a second. You would have to be in the top 0.1% of genetics to be able to notice the difference between 250 frames a second and 500 frames a second. Your eyes and your brain is just not that fast. <laughs> there was n prior prior to to recently there was no there was no evolutionary advantage to to being able to see that fast. Alrighty, so that was heaven. Just on the out of the box settings there, high with no anti aliasing. Now let's let's turn it up a bit. Let's run Valley here on Ultra with max anti-aliasing. This is still 1080p, which is the resolution of the capture cards that we use here. And it's still averaging like 250 frames a second here. And like I said, your your eyes is not going to see any difference with that. And so I'm not just saying this that that you can you can go and look up you can go and look up um, tests where they've they've actually analysed this. And basically. For, for most people, once you get to about 150 frames a second, your, your eyes won't be able to tell any faster than that. Your eyes are just not that good. Oh, What's up, babe? Yeah, these so-called pumas in Australia. They're just feral cats, man. They're big feral cats. Mm -hmm. They call them cats. Big feral cats. Yeah, we don't have any actual native cats here in Australia. I said we don't have any native cats here in Australia. Yeah. There's no, there's no evidence of that. There's people who say that they, they've seen them and that there's big, big cats here and blah, 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 blah. But it's like the Sasquatch or Bigfoot or something like that. It's basically like that. The only thing that's happening is people are seeing big feral cats that are black and going, oh shit, it's Puma. <laughs> Oh, really? No, it's... No, no, we're okay. Spiders aren't really the problem. The, 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 thing that's, the thing that's probably worst about Australia, like most dangerous, is the snakes. And, and I mean, it's not like there's snakes freaking everywhere, but you do have to, you do have to be um, mindful of them if you're, 
in rural areas. We, they, they don't have they don't have they don't have a like they don't have like a rattly tail to, to warn you about them. So you, and 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 the problem is the um, it's it's not the deadliest snake in the world, which is in Australia. That's not the one you have to worry about. It's the second deadliest snake that you have to worry about. Also known as the Eastern Brown, and it has it, they're, they're literally called brown snakes. That's what that's their actual name. Um, and they are very, very, very common. They have many, many different appearances. They don't all look the same. There's so approximately like 3,000 snake bites a year in Australia. Yeah. Which is not Which is not too, which is not too, not too bad considering how many snakes there actually are. So, average about two people die. Yeah. And like, spiders, like no one, pretty much no one ever dies from a spider bite no. in Australia. So you don't have to really worry too much about that. The thing is, the thing is, just like going into Mexico or um, South America or Southeast Asia, when you go into those like more tropical, more wildernessy areas, yeah, you get insects, you get spiders, you get snakes. It's it's not really any different from anywhere else. The problem is with the with the eastern brown snakes is that they're they're deadly. They will kill, it's it's deadly unless you get pretty fast medical attention, so that can be problematic. And the thing is, brown snakes love human areas. So when we go and build a shitload of houses, yeah, if you've got if you've got chickens, you can pretty much guarantee you can have brown snakes around. They they like to eat the eggs. They don't real they can't eat the they usually can't eat the chickens because the the they go for the mice. Yeah, and the mice, they, they're attracted by the rodents that are attracted by the chickens. So, if you've got chickens in the area, you'll have brown snakes in the area. And you're more likely to die from a bee or wasp sting in Australia than you are to die from a snake bite. So, let's put it that way. Yeah. Australia's not a place where like literally everything's trying to kill you that's that's what like alarmist youtubers like to say about australia like the drop bears they're so real yeah drop bears is just a mythical thing that we use to scare uh, and we ride in kangaroo pouches to school yeah i bullshitted <laughs> so many dumb americans when i went to america i went to america when i was 12 and I'd just oh, like, <laughs> I'd just meet people like at the at the theme park, like other kids, and they'd be like, oh, are you from Australia? Oh, that's so cool, man. Would you, what, what's it like in there? And I'd just be like, yeah, man, we just fucking, you know, we got the kangaroos, we fucking ride them around and shit. <laughs> what's up? They'd have tree snakes. But the thing is, in America, a lot of it's temperate. Yeah. And snakes don't do too well in temperate zones. Yes, I Yeah, of course I do. But they'd be, it'd be more of a, like a Texas, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi thing. Okay, so that's all looking good. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, little bug eyes. Mm -hmm. Tree snakes are so cute. Yeah, we got we got these nice we got these bright green tree snakes. They're they're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for our for our benchmark, sorry for our stress test, I'm going to set a wattage limit here on the CPU, and I'm going to save it just in case you ever want to do 
a video rendering or something more intensive with the CPU and you're worried about temperatures, that's all you do is open up XTU, go to the profiles page, click on render, click on show values and then click on apply and that will do its thing. Oh, before we do that, I want to show everyone, yeah. Oh, awesome. I love the 4080. Go <laughs> watch those trouser snakes. So check out check out those check out those read speeds now that we've got um, momentum cache activated. And that's just this is just a Gen three SSD. It's not a Gen four. So momentum cache will really speed up those read write speeds. So very, very solid numbers there from our crucial drive once we activate momentum cache and it's decent just on its own. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that quickly because we, we turned that on. Alright, so now we're at the end of the night. Set this up for a 90 minute run. Got our case closed up. There we go. So with that wattage limit, it's going to sit there in the in the mid 70s there for our stress test, which is which is fine. I don't need it to be getting any hotter than that. If you're familiar with uh, 12th and 13th gen Intel K series, they've got them tuned so hard that if you run Cinebench, it's going to um it's going to sit there at 100 degrees even with even with a, a custom loop. Um, but even with this 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, it's it's still going to be it's still going to get really 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 hot with the out-of-the-box settings. So I always set a wattage limit there so it doesn't basically melt. <laughs> and then yeah, this is satisfactory for for the stress test because I just want to make sure it gets nice and warm inside the case. It's not about trying to make the board die or make the CPU die, it's just about running a bit of power through it, getting it heated up, allowing it to cool back down and me to turn it back on again the next day and everything will still be sweet and then that's a pretty good indication that I'll be able to ship this off and it's going to be fine for Mark when he goes to turn it on. and our graphics card no issues there whatsoever Ugh. but there's definitely an issue with me alrighty I think we might go back to full screen I think we might sign off for the night so thanks everyone for watching be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you all in the next video